ஹலோ ஹாய் ஹரி ஹாய் ஹவ் ஆர் யூ குட் ஹவ் ஆர் யூ சோ we will continue with the updating the actual progress mm-hmm. okay so before that we will try to open the yesterday that we did na some one days line so i will try to open the same project mm-hmm. uh, so before i was telling na how to customize the fields here in the column so i will give you one example for that and then we will move on for the session so for example here i am just going for a see what we are going to do means like we have baseline cost and then the uh, like uh, cost yes okay after updating the baseline we are putting some more resources now the cost became like this now if you want to see like uh, for example this is not actual cost anyway you can able to customize your columns accordingly so like uh, if it is like uh, equal to the baseline cost we can have some indicator if it is more than the baseline cost we can have some indicator if it is less than the baseline cost we can have some indicator so to have such kind of things you can just go here right click and i'm just going for custom fields see here you can able to choose some uh, uh, different kinds of types so for example cost in the sense i'm just going for a cost mm-hmm. okay so cost i'm just going for cost to one field i'm just going for rename so rename i am just going for baseline uh, cost increased mm-hmm. so this kind of column i am just going to put okay so for this i am just going to have some formula so you need to click the formula so here you can just go for field and then go for uh, see what are all the cost see baseline cost and then cost na mm-hmm. so you can directly go like this or you can just go here so i am just going for baseline cost or cost first so cost minus baseline cost as same so i'm going to click okay and you need to click okay again so then click a uh, uh, graphical indicators so graphical indicators see here you have graphical indicators first you need to use the formula and then you can just go for graphical indicator and i'm just going for equal uh, if it is like zero and then like uh, is less than and then is greater than so three option so zero zero mm-hmm. okay so here i am just going for equal in the sense like uh, we can say uh, like uh, some tick mark okay and then for uh, is uh, no here you supposed to take is less than no, just just one minute uh, hari you are moving very fast yeah okay so is greater oh, so basically this is like uh, conditional formatting in uh, excel ah similar to that yeah kind of i mean not the same so but... here i'm just going for less than then we can uh, take something like this uh, this symbol if it is like greater than then we can just uh, go for up arrow and i'm just going for okay see if it is equal it will show like the tick mark okay now click okay only we need to rename and then go for formula and then graphical indicators mm-hmm. then click okay now you can able to select the column here so baseline na uh, cost increased see can you able to see the indicators see whenever if it is like more na then it is showing like up arrow see if it's like 160 from 160 it become 352 then it is something more then that's why we got this indicator if it is 384 equal to 384 then we are getting the tick mark so like this you can customize the columns and you can just go for indicators fantastic yeah if i am trying to like uh, reduce also like uh, we can able to see how it will be uh, for example i am just directly putting for example here 384 na i am just going to put a 250 see then it automatically showing down but i am manually putting it's supposed to be calculate accordingly according to the resource allocation okay but i just want you to show okay i am just going to undo because i just manually putting the okay now like this you can able to customize so the same na you can able to just go for interim uh, plans so in baseline we also have interim plans na so you are also doing side by side i think you got as it is no i'm just i'm trying to put the notes so i don't forget the information yeah 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 you can take note yeah 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 all right See, when you are just going near to the arrow na it will show how much uh, more like uh, 160 it is like 192 dollar more that also it will yeah. show yes yes fantastic so just uh, keep the cursor there and then it will show you yeah 
Mm-hmm. Anyway, you also try side by side. You will get it is very simple. Just to put formula yeah. on the indicators. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, it's it's working. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's great. Okay. Yeah. I think you can save actually. Now you can okay. save this. Mm-hmm. Anyway, this is okay. The same now we can able to apply for interim plans. See, interim plan is something going to save our like a like a start and finish dates. I'm just going for project, and then I'm just going for set baseline. And here I'm just going for set interim plans. So scheduled to start or finish to start one or finish one. Otherwise, we can just go for baseline. Ah, uh, see baseline. Ah, uh, yeah. so into start one finish one. So the baseline start date and then finish date it will become start one finish one, and then click OK. Okay, now the data will be saved. Now what we can uh, go means like I'm just going for customizing the field. So go for custom fields, and then I'm just going for date, and I'm just going for rename, and then what we can say like a uh, uh, base line, finish date, change, and then click OK. Now we can just go for formula, and what we need to put. So we need to put the the start date. Or the baseline date. Ah, uh, baseline. Ah, uh, see, one minute. Now it is like finish one, right? So we are just going for a date and then baseline finish. Ah, uh, baseline. Ah, uh, estimated finish or baseline finish. Ah, uh, I think baseline finish. Minus. Again, finish. So finish one we can put na finish one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or if you are finding that from here, it could be much better. So finish. Custom finish. See this finish one we also have. Yes. Click OK and then click OK. Now I'm just going for graphical indicator. I'm just going for uh, equals is less than mm-hmm. is greater than zero zero zero. And I'm just going for So it is date now. I am just going to put the left yeah. arrow if it is less than, and I am just going for right arrow if it is greater than. Click OK. The entry is not valid, but why? The test value cannot be used within the field for the data you want to find or filter for. Ah, uh, yeah, I think uh, for dates it's different. I mean values. If the value is equal to Baseline finish date, right? No, I think it's supposed to come actually. If it is like equal to zero, mm. entry is not valid. Hmm. So equals to like uh, I'm just going for baseline finish in that case. Yeah. Baseline finish. Yeah. Click okay. okay. Uh, again? No. But no. Try okay. to choose baseline for all three of them. Ah. Uh, oh. Okay. So I'm just going to. Yeah. It will work now. Oh, you no. you already tried? Yeah, but it's not working. Ah, uh, it's less than baseline finish. Yeah. Click OK. See, now it is working. Hmm. Okay. Can you click OK? Now I will click OK. Yeah. Nope. It doesn't. Yeah. So you can just go here and then you can choose that. Ah, uh. oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I forgot about that. Hmm. Yeah. Baseline finish date changed. So now we are not getting anything, na. But when we will get? If you have any like, ah, uh, uh, see the actual finish date. For example. You want to do it manually? Uh, so I'm just going for uh, some. Uh, so I'm trying trying to change the uh, finish date, na. So now I'm just going for uh, some lags or leads we will put. So for example, uh, so this is like baseline start, but actual start we will put something like a uh, uh, five. Okay, but we are not getting anything. Yeah. Then we must have like a column for a start one, finish one. 
otherwise you can just go here so view and then a table and then here you can just go for tracking so tracking or we can just go for a work work no this is like work and tracking and then uh, schedule schedule uh, schedule uh, so this is like a late finish late start and everything yeah. okay no different kinds of table also we have if you want you can just uh, go from here so otherwise we need mm -hmm. to like manually like uh, have these columns okay yes. usage okay so but we are just going for tracking so in tracking only we can able to put uh, actual start actual finish like that uh okay anyway i'm just going for entry entry is the default one that we have mm -hmm. okay baseline yeah. finish okay uh what i'm just going for uh finish now so baseline start start okay i'm just going to insert another column so start one so start one no not start start 10 so you're supposed to go for start one okay so nothing there no that's why it's not coming and then mm -hmm. i'm just going for insert column no, for me i can see some stuff and start one i have all the dates ah okay but for me like it is coming only for finish one but how is that possible for you like start one what it is coming uh the same date with a little differences ah okay but yeah. in that case like i might be like done some mistake you are having both start and finish dates uh yes ah great so you have yeah, start but, one. yeah but still i don't see anything on the custom field we created oh it's okay. empty if you if you hover your mouse it will say error on the oh. on the yeah yeah if you hover your mouse ah, it will say yeah, error. Yeah. still it is showing error only here also we can just go for custom fields so i'm just going for formula uh, so what we can do means like uh, okay anyway we will try to make uh, because this interim now uh, it will store actually the start one and finish one mm -hmm. so baseline finishes this uh, no finish one automatically like uh, like why finish one taking st start now i am just going for project and then you need to go for a uh, uh, information where you can just go for statistics see we have baseline see if not baseline it will show not available na yeah yeah okay hmm so we need to update the progress actually in that case uh, okay so i am just going to put this a uh 100 percentage we will see how it is i'm just going to put 100 percentage then we will get the stick mark which means like the task was completed on june 29th but yeah. i'm just going to make a, uh you need to just uh, go for actual start actual finish also otherwise we can just go here from view so table and then a schedule or we can just go for table and then a tracking okay mm -hmm. Uh, now actual start actual finish column automatically coming yes so i'm just going to put a not 29 so it is also not started on uh, 28 so i'm just going to put 30 and automatically it became uh, so july 1 or i am just going to take another date so actual duration remaining duration like that mm -hmm. okay So automatically percentage complete everything it's coming right okay yeah. but now i'm just going for a uh, baseline uh, finish date changed okay but i'm just going for custom fields so the first one i'm just going for a formula mm -hmm. now you can just go for at least a baseline finish minus act actual uh, minus actual finish yeah click okay and then okay again error 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 only it is showing right yeah it's it's maybe because of the is it because of the graphical indicators no no not because of that otherwise we will try to change to number hmm. or you need to delete now first in that case um custom fields 
So custom field, I'm just going to delete this one. So we don't have delete option, but okay. Uh, here we have delete. Okay, I deleted it. So we will try to go for a number itself or duration. Uh, otherwise, we will go for duration, rename, baseline, finish. Uh, no, it is only calculate duration only. Uh, that is go for number. Baseline, finish, uh, date, changed. Click OK. So formula, and then. Then you go to number, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Baseline, finish. Or, uh, or we can choose like a normal finish. Uh, finish minus no but here what we have actual finish and then baseline okay in that case we need to go for baseline finish baseline finish minus of actual finish click ok and then we will go for graphical indicator equal so it's less than it's greater than Zero, zero, zero. Equal, I will put the okay. It's less than, right? Mm. Okay, okay. Uh, Still not applicable because you have chosen one minute baseline finish date changed. Ah, see, it is coming. You need to change the column now. Ah, okay. So all together, like uh, showing down, which means like uh, uh, actual finish, like uh, somewhat like less than baseline. No, I don't think so. Maybe the indicator error. See, we have baseline here, but actual is somewhat far away. Then here it is showing like a different Why We can again custom. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, if you hover, then it, it is counting the not the dates, the numbers. Uh, Can you hover? Yeah, just hover. You will see like four thousand or something like this. No, why it is like that? It is like not showing the correct numbers. No, yeah. I think, uh, no, I think then there is a problem. Custom fields uh, go for formula, then actual finish minus baseline finish maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, see now it is coming. Now this is what correct. Okay. Hmm. Because like actual now, nah, like uh, we are getting, and then only baseline. So if you we'll try to reduce something, for example, so this one now, nah, I'm just going to put a hundred percentage, or we can put here. See this percentage complete, we can click here. This is one method. We can put here. This is second method. And again, you can just go for task and task information. And where also you can able to just go for putting the percentage. This is another method. And again, yeah. also we have uh, from here, from where, see here, from here, update task. So many, uh, mm. this kind of, this much uh, methods we have for putting. So I am I'm putting 100% and then click OK. OK, but actual start, actual finish, we are going to select. Actual start, not on 30th June, so 5th June. And actual finish also, or we can try to put uh, something before. Mm -hmm. Actual, uh, I'm just going for 24. Click OK. OK. Now we will see how it is. See? Yes. OK, this is uh, normal. No, it didn't get changed in my case. But why? Can you go back to so you, it's, it's 24 July or 24 no, June? Oh, it's 24 June. June. Ah. Uh, OK, OK. 24 June. Yeah. To 29 June. Yes, exactly. Yeah, now so this is simple. Out. So like that, you can make use of interim plans also. And accordingly, you can customize and you can get the values. Mm -hmm. OK, so interim plan is just to store start and finish dates. Yes. OK, now you got this point. And you also like know now how to update the progress. Mm -hmm. So how many methods? Like uh, you can just go to view and then table. And here you have tracking from where you can able to go. And again, another method, you can just go for task and you can able to choose any of this icon. And then yes. here again, also update task option. Update task, yeah. Or uh -huh. then you can go to information. Uh, information and then uh, from here. Okay, this much uh, things we have. Okay.
and for any like uh, project we also have a c project status date status date not available so depend on the status date one day we will get s curves see from here also we can have update project okay so this is like a selected task means we can able to go for selected task and then entire project and then we can just to go for update with the new dates yes okay but status date if you want to put you can put yes so when you are putting the status for example project you may be completed the project well in before but you want to just uh, analyze everything in microsoft project then you supposed to click this and you supposed to choose the particular date okay that is like status date can you can you say that again so i will just put okay. this in my okay set the status date to report progress of the project status date is used for progress and earned value calculation oh. so that's why i'm telling for s curves na earned value calculation we are using status date so if you don't set the status state it will default to the current date mm. so that's why when you clicking that it is showing 29th june because today 29 right that's why yeah yeah, yeah. so i will teach you earned value calculation and s curves on the time i will try to put status states also mm -hmm. okay so we also have move project option so then you can just go for new project start date if you want to move uh, after or so this is like completely moving the project hmm. okay yeah so for example completely like i'm just going for so completely moved actually yeah so you started at uh, 21 june right yeah uh -huh. okay move project so anyway i'm putting undo I think I just uh, want to show you. Now it's okay, na? Huh? Yeah, yeah. See now everything is okay. Yeah, this this one is a good example. I can use this in my job as well. Move. But usually they, they yeah usually they don't move to the left. They always move to the right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are always delays and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, in between, in between, I'm saving also. Anyway, this we can save. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. So these options we have like uh, so if you make any changes you need to put the calculate project so calculating your project is only necessary if you have turned off calculation in the project option dialog box which means like some cost and then some duration so it's a kind of uh, automatic calculation okay yeah. but when i clicked on it it's not working so. no no even for me it's not working but maybe it's a kind of refresh or something it will calculate accordingly uh -huh, okay okay for the whole project mm -hmm. see custom fields we also here also we have that's what we are doing here now yeah so in the project information only we have statistics where we can able to see the baseline and even now we can also see the actual start date see variance mm -hmm. we can able to see minus two yes and then finish date variance and everything so current uh duration baseline duration actual duration remaining duration everything see yeah. here we can able to see the uh, duration percentage complete and work percentage complete mm -hmm. yes okay see we also have here na from i'm going for task and then here a tracking gant so tracking gant in the sense it will display the percentage so that is yes. the only difference between the normal gant and then tracking gant so how much the total percentage completed like that yes so the tracking gan shows how many percentage of the work is completed mm -hmm. so here we also have over allocation so in that case i'm just going for a uh, resource and then level uh, level resource okay. level now uh, otherwise we can just go for level all see automatically it got level Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So here also we can just go for baseline. Okay. Only here it is less. Yeah. now you understood na all these things like how to update the actual progress and everything yeah yes yes exactly 
see we we also have mark contract option so set the selected task so they are on scheduled per schedule per the status date so as per the status date it will uh, automatically mark contract mm -hmm. so the status date we can put uh, na, from here so for project and the status date this is what yes. it is so mark on track is the same as status date yeah 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 no no as per the status date like uh, oh, okay. okay so they are on schedule per the status date so for example i'm just going for c na i'm just going to put a mark, mark on track so when i'm putting a mark on track what happened so it became 67 percentage because we are in 29 na so mm -hmm. so accordingly it will calculate Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, that is what depends on the status state actually. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we can just to go for twenty five percentage, like that, mm -hmm. or fifty percentage, like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I put undo again. Yeah. Okay. If you want to split, you can split also. So split until, see, I have a split stage, and then I'm just going to put full like that. So accordingly, we are getting uh, some delays, and accordingly, the project end dates and everything will be vary. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. This split now we can able to use when there is a over allocation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, to reduce the. Uh, I mean, to level to level the resource. To level the resources, yeah. Mm -hmm. So and also we have task usage, right? So here we have. Okay, so here we have like uh, this assignment work has been edited. So I think. Where is which one is this? No, so the C like in the C. This yeah, I don't see this icon there. Uh, maybe see how how this uh, dates and everything. So the C, na I think. Uh, so no, because because we put uh, some uh, C. Some. Oh, you put the split. Yeah, I didn't put the split yet. Ah, uh, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. So again, it is going to start later, na that's why. Yeah. If you are removing the split, na hmm. it will go. I think. Yes. See, I'm just going here. See that there, there won't be anything. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Okay. So for any resource, we also have a details. This is details, not details. Uh, information, no? Information. So this is like assignment information, and then the cost. But uh, uh, see, for example. A resource and then resource information. So we can just go to a resource sheet, and I am going for information. See here, we can just go for budget resource, budget, uh, generic, a uh, budget. Okay. Yeah. So here, Harry, I only have budget. I don't have generic and uh, what is the other one? Inactive. In inactive, yeah, because I have standard. Remember, I don't have project professional. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Budget work, na. I am just going for a. Uh, uh, cost resource. Okay. Now I'm just going for information. I'm just going to put this as budget resource. Okay. And then click OK. Okay. Now, uh, if I'm just going to assign, or uh, so from here, so I'm just going to assign that to assign resource, and then budget cost. No, we can't able to assign at all. But this budget cost, it's not coming now. So totally. So from here we can able to just uh, so what will this do, uh, Hari? So this budget cost? Huh? Yes. No, this is like, uh, yeah, we need to like use in a specific manner. That's why it is actually the budget cost. Like you will be having enough for any project budget cost. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, like that. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Ah, hi, hi. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I can able to hear. So the for this now, like we supposed to go to format and then where you need to just to switch on the project summary task. See, if it is not switched on, we can't able to have a budget resource. See, this oh, is like the. Ah, okay. uh, see, then we can just to go for right click assign resource and then we can able to assign. See, now the assign button is automatically coming. Yes. Okay. Now we assigned and then I'm just going here. See now budget cost here it's coming right. But how you can able to put? So you need to just have one column. So you need to go for budget cost. So only then only we can able to put. For example, total budget of this. Uh, uh, I'm just putting hundred thousand. So like that you can able to put. This is like a total budget of the whole project. Yes. Only for this purpose we can able to have a budget cost. Mm -hmm. So if you are just uh, removing it, it will go again. I think. So format, ah, if it is like uh, removing, then uh, the budget also it will go. Okay, but you can able to see the budget cost here. Uh, see here also we have project summary task and everything. Mm -hmm. See and again, see for yeah, this, this, one, I think this is... Yeah, tell me. Yeah, I mean, this, this one is beneficial for me. Uh, because I have to keep track of the, the budget, the, the project budget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See here now in task usage, you also have more details. See actual work and also the work, actual work, you can able to have many things. So baseline work. See here, you can able to see the details now, nah? but so everything you can able to put, even you can go for cumulative work, cost, actual cost, everything. See, this is like uh, even more like, uh, uh, like what to say, like uh, detail, detail, uh, detailed manner. Yeah. So what are the things you want? You can have, so each and every task you can able to study accordingly. If you want outline number, uh, this is like project summary. Now nah? this is normal. Okay. So what are the things today we have learned? So updating actual progress. One minute. Creating custom field. Uh, one minute. Anyway, I will just share my white screen. Yeah. So today's topic. Today's topics. Okay. Yeah. How to update actual progress using creating custom fields? How to update actual progress? Using custom fields. Custom field. No, custom fields is secondary. If you want, you can. Otherwise, like you know now how to create the custom fields and how to update actual progress. Also, we have seen. And then, yeah. Then the status, status date. Uh, status date. We have seen how to like uh, how to set a uh, setting so set, set up status. Date. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And then. Uh, what else? The, then uh, the uh, move project. If you want to move project uh, from the left to the right. So custom field we have seen. Custom field and then move project. Yeah. Yeah, and then mark on track. Uh, mark. And, uh, track. Yeah, and then different ways of the completion percentage. Uh, percentage completion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what? Else? And then this resource thing, the last thing we did was the budget. Uh, uh, the, also in the budget, budget resource. Yeah. Uh, budget resource. And then how to display. How to display, yeah. Yeah, how to display or how to enter. Mm. Yeah. So these are all the topics we have seen, right? Yes. Okay. For today. So I think. Then I think for tomorrow, you said you will do S curve and earned analysis values. Yeah, of course, of course. Anyway, we are left with only these topics. Yeah, you are right. Yeah. So, so today we are at the end of the session, right? I think it's enough. Anyway, already it's ten o'clock. <laughs> yeah. See, I so think tomorrow we, we do, what? Uh, yeah, tomorrow we will do earned value analysis and S curves, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Earned value analysis and S curve. One hour quickly. It's just going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so two more sessions left, Harry, yeah? Yes, yes, yes.
Yeah. All right then. So should we conclude now? Yeah, we can conclude the session. Yeah. All right. All right then. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you. See you. Bye. Bye.